till 2022, our Latina girl was a guest at the LV Paris Fashion Week. Taking from mode fashion of the 60s, Hi guys, welcome to my channel where every two weeks I will choose one superstar and his her top 5 looks. Today's episode is dedicated to the Cuban actress Ana de Armas uh, who has taken Hollywood by storm with her eye-opening roles in many famous movie productions this year. So let's see her style. In 2020, Anna dazzled and gave the Disney princess vibes at the Golden Globes red carpet in LA. She was in a sparkly midnight blue strapless Ralph and Russo dress that was totally reminiscent of Anastasia's look when she attends the opera with Dimitri. She accessorized the look with Tiffany and Co. diamond drop earrings and necklace and Jimmy Choo shoes. The brunette beauty opted for a minimal makeup, adding a bright red lip to complete her look. Her hair was perfectly pinned back into an elegant low ponytail. The year after, our lovely brunette attended the world premiere of the 25th James Bond film No Time to Die in London. The Bond girl wore the lavish long black Louis Vuitton gown, it featured a plaging neckline, tight high split and a ballish straps. Beautiful diamonds were provided by Chopin. This year the actress stepped out for the Grey Man a screening at the Zopalas Cinema in Berlin. She was wearing a Louis Vuitton navy suit. The long line blazer with white lapels gave an androgynous feel that was expertly offset with slim fit trousers. With guidance uh, from her stylist Samantha Macmillan, she completed the three piece ensemble by wearing a matching waistcoat underneath. She finished her look with simple, barely three silver heels, Garrett diamond necklace, Anita Ko diamond drop earrings and a statement sapphire ring from Shy Jewelry. Her hair was in a low ponytail with waves pulled out at the front to frame her face. She kept her makeup classic with a sweep of black eyeliner and a bold red lip. Anna has channeled the legendary Marilyn Monroe as she walked the red carpet for the world premiere at the Venice Film Festival and it also happened this year. The Cuban-born star stunned in a beautiful pink Louis Vuitton dress. The dress had a plaging neckline and pleated material that seemed to pay homage to one of Marilyn's most iconic looks. The white halter neck dress she wore in the 1955 film The Darn Seventh Year. She went to great lengths to accessorize the dress, donning a brilliant diamond necklace by Messica, designed to look like wings closing around her neck, and a sparkling diamond bracelet on her left wrist. She paired the sparkling jewels with stud earrings and a dainty ring on her right pinky. Her gorgeous brunette hair has been starred in a classic old Hollywood glam waves. Still 2022, our Latina girl was a guest at the LV Paris Fashion Week. Taking from mode fashion of the 60s, mixed with first lady chic, Armas wore a bubblegum pink structured dress with a modern spin. With silver detailing around the neckline and sleeves, this dress combined a diversity of made and metallic along with a few extra buttons for good measure. To put the modern twist on the outfit, Armas uh, wore a pair of vinyl black ankle boots that usually doesn't fit the form for the 60s aesthetic but this provided a refreshing take on a look that can teeter the line on cookie cutter. She paired the look with a smoky eye and a messy chic up to that provided a sense of casualness to the overall look. 
As you can see, Anna is another star who knows exactly how to look chic, elegant and be remarkable by the public. In the future, I am sure that uh, we will see a bunch of great stylish looks too. Now she is rocking for sure. Of course, as always, I encourage you to post your comments, share your opinions and of course subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned, see you in two weeks. Bye bye!